All right, guys, so today we are going to be drawing emotions. You need to have a piece of paper. You need to have something to draw with. And if you haven't already, you might want to have a mirror nearby or maybe go take a second, pause this video and go look into a mirror for a little bit and practice some different faces so you can see what these different emotions really look like. So I'm going to zoom in just a little on my paper. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw four circles or ovals because we want to draw today at least four different emotions, four different faces. We want to practice those. So I'm going to draw four circles or ovals on my paper to put those emotions into. I'm actually going to turn my paper. So I'll leave it this way. <laughs> Can't make my mind up today. Now I want to make sure these ovals and circles are big enough to fit eyes, ears, nose, mouth, all those different things, eyebrows that I'm gonna want when I'm drawing my emotions, but they can kind of be put any way they fit best on your paper. So now that I have four faces, and if you guys decide you wanna draw more than four, that is okay with me. Now that I have my four faces drawn on here, I'm gonna start practicing drawing some different emotions. So if for my first one, I am gonna start with a sad face. I wanna think about what are the eyebrows gonna do? Do they go up, down? What is the nose, the mouth, the eyes? What are those going to do? So when I looked at my face in the mirror and I was looking a little sad, you could see my eyes, but my eyes kind of closed a little bit. So I'm gonna draw kind of my eyelid coming over my eye a little bit there and then I'll draw my pupil and my iris kind of in the middle of my eye and I kind of look down like I don't want to look at myself when I'm sad and my eyebrows they're just kind of there they're not real angry and pointed down or up my nose I just kind of have my nose doesn't do much with emotion, so I'm just going to do a little curve in the middle like some of the pictures you saw before. But maybe if my nose was all like scrunched up because I was angry or scrunching up my face, I might draw a little more to it. And then when I'm sad, I kind of have my lips kind of purse and they go down to the side a little bit. So I'm going to kind of draw our normal sad face line like a curve that's upside down. And then you kind of see... I have these little creases right down by the sides of my mouth when I'm sad. And then guys, if I really want this to look like me, I of course am gonna add a few other details. But what I do want you to focus on today is really yours. If you wanna go through and add your hair and all of those other fun details, you can do that as well. But the main thing I want you to focus on is really looking at your face and what all those parts of your face do when you're making a sad, happy, whatever face that is. So now I'm gonna move on and I am going to draw an excited face. So like really, really happy, something amazing just happened. So when that happens, I get really excited. My eyes normally get really big. So I'm gonna kind of draw them more like they're ovals. Like I'm like, and they're really stretched out super big I have my irises again and my pupils in the middle like oh my gosh how is that happening and then my eyebrows usually go way up and it's okay if our features on this today are a little exaggerated my nose kind of scrunches up so it's almost closer to my eyes I feel like and then usually when I'm excited my mouth is gonna be big 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 and it's gonna be open where I can see my teeth my tongue and even the inside of my mouth, which I'm just gonna color in nice and dark, like the background there. So I get so, 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 so excited. And that's kind of what my face does then. And then once again, if you wanna go through and add your other details, you can do that. So I have sad, I have excited, and I'm gonna go through and do two other emotions as well. I am gonna draw tired because I feel that <laughs> and I am going to draw hmm which other should I draw maybe I'll draw frustrated 
Because that happens, and in art, sometimes it happens a lot when you can't get something to look just the way you want it to. So I'm going to draw those two, and then I want you guys to be working on yours. All right, guys, so good. So you see on my last one, my frustrated one, I kind of even draw some wrinkles up on top of my nose of how scrunched up my nose gets when I get frustrated. And I'm just like, Ugh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do this. And it is kind of an upset, angry, frustrated face. All right, so you guys have fun. Create your different emotions. And I can't wait to see what you do.